So we didn't move third degree in to the West End. We founded third degree in the West End. And we didn't really even know it was a West End. We thought of uh, the spot on Del Mar as sort of mentally part of the Del Mar Loop. And Doug and I started in the Del Mar Loop, and we were just driving east down Del Mar as the neighborhood got progressively worse and worse. And finally, we found this giant old building for sale with one of those signs with the four. They didn't even bother to spell it, F-O-R. They just put for sale and um, saw that building. And we didn't realize that we were actually in the Central West End. And we thought the neighborhood was kind of scary. But the more we fixed it up and opened up the windows and took the bars down and sort of opened it up and, and threw the doors open, we realized that, no, it was actually a very nice neighborhood. And then we looked at our zip code and realized, oh, wow, you know, technically we're in the Central West End, which is considered a beautiful neighborhood. And it is a beautiful neighborhood, just that that area is just slowly catching up in its beauty. Well, there's just a perception that we've got this sort of, you know, black-white dividing line in uh, St. Louis and it's Del Mar Boulevard. And, you know, to some extent, uh, that's history. Uh, the town divided one way and the I don't know what I don't exactly know what happened, what led to it. Uh, what I do know is that we're seeing the wall come down now. We're seeing uh, a lot of people. Uh, so LaunchCo just uh, opened up an office on the north side of Del Mar. Uh, we're reaching out to people on the north side of the street and on the south side of the street. And I hear less and less about that sort of strict divide. Um, also, the city is coming back. So the city is this fantastic melting pot. It's this area where everybody mixes up. And St. Louis was really good for years at sort of keeping the groups from mixing. But that's all going away right now. And areas like Del Mar, um, which were once legendary for the division, are now legendary for sort of the cross-pollination and the creativity. And that's what we're doing. Yes, Third Degree is on the south side of Del Mar. And two blocks down, Launch Code, my other uh, recent startup, is on the north side of Del Mar. So I literally have today been at both offices on both sides of Del Mar. So artists are pretty aggressive when they choose to move into a neighborhood. And Doug Auer, who's my partner at Third Degree, uh, he and I were not looking for fancy space. We were looking for big space. And we were going to put industrial glass furnaces in there. And we wanted a building that wouldn't burn to the ground. So the first thing we loved about that space was that the building on Del Mar has a concrete roof. You know how hard it is to find a concrete roof in St. Louis? Everything's wood and tar. And we had concrete. And we were like, this is heaven. So we didn't really think about it except in terms of you know the brick and mortar. But once we started fixing it up and opening it up, then we started attracting people to the area, and then other properties around us started getting fixed up as well. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the cool factor kind of comes in later. Like, it, at first, I think it's utility. I think cool comes in once the utility is established, and you tend to get cool activities in big spaces because a lot of the really interesting stuff that you, that you want to do, you know, like big you know, metalwork or sculpture or, you know, some sort of, a, you know, auto restoration or, uh, you know, building electric cars or something like that takes space. In our case, we opened up glass blowing. Glass blowing is incredibly cool. You open up with a furnace. It's just mesmerizing. And so doing that on Del Mar helped, you know, helped sort of keep the vibe going that I think was started years ago in the Del Mar uh, Lupa U City.